All right, we're at day two of CV Summit here in Zouk. Um, we have a number of different things going on on our side. Behind us, you see the wonderful booth that is being manned by a lot of different team members so that we're able to answer questions, meet some local projects, and connect with new folks out of the Crypto Valley ecosystem. Uh, we have Jan, who's hitting the stage in just a bit to give a very interesting keynote, taking a closer look at AI on chain, which I'm very excited about. And I just got done moderating a panel, taking a look at VC investment. So it's an exciting day. One of the things we touched on as part of the panel discussion was the importance of regional components within a completely decentralized world. So how do local communities factor into the important work of different projects around the world? And of course, for us, that means uh, largely the different hubs, the different ICP hubs that we have spread globally around the world. The, they play an incredibly important role in helping to make the IC tech stack accessible, providing education, connecting with local communities, and making sure that local projects receive as much support as possible from the community itself. So it's an essential growth component for us, but also an essential community maintenance component. There's a number of different ways that we work with startups. Our lovely growth team, of course, assists in all things technical, whether it be developer grants, just answering questions and offering technical support. Uh, we have a lot of different interesting programs on the startup support front, things like Olympus, for example, if you're a startup that's looking to interact with VCs, find interesting funding opportunities, et cetera, that's a platform you can definitely go and check out. Uh, and then, of course, again, the regional hubs are an incredibly important component of offering support to different startups. If you're looking to connect to your local ICP community, definitely go and find the most local hub in your region. Go and chat them up, see how you can get involved and go and meet other ICP projects. I think there's a number of different things that flow into the way that you should make decisions in particularly those early stages, right? So find a tech stack that really fits your needs and find a team on the engineering front that will really be able to stand by you, answer questions, offer support, et cetera. I think that's something that we excel at within the ICP community. There's so many resources made available to you in order to help you sort of get moving, get started, um, receive input, get feedback, et cetera. So that's definitely a really important component. The second thing is really connect to both the global and the local community. So find other entrepreneurs that are in the middle of building things that have a lot of the same pain points, a lot of the same questions that you're dealing with on a daily basis. There's real strength in community and a lot of value to be found in sort of sharing that entrepreneurial journey and the entrepreneurial experience. And the last component, of course, is funding at the end of the day. That's what you'll need in the long run in order to bring your project to success. One key thing to keep in mind is you choose your partners carefully, right? So it's not just a one-way choice. It's not just the VC that chooses to provide you funding, but you also want to make sure that you choose the right VCs or the right angel investors to become part of that journey with you. You want people that will provide additional support, provide insights, again, give, particularly in the early days, that sort of hand-holding in order to make sure that they're making other strategic introductions, they're helping you, you know, sort of meet the right people, um, make the right BD developments, et cetera. So that's a crucial component that I definitely wouldn't forget about. There were a number of different uh, sort of new hot topics that were mentioned over the course of the chat. Uh, certainly everyone's paying attention to Deepin, we're in particular paying attention to decentralized AI as a very big component of that. Obviously, always AI on chain, that's what we're looking for. And the second component, most definitely chain abstraction and taking a look at, again, how interoperability can help shape the future of blockchain and how we as ICP can play an active role in sort of filling different gaps in other ecosystems and really utilizing the different capabilities of the IC tech stack whether it's as a computation layer, whether it's with our smart contracts, in order to better interact with other chains.